So while we're out here as well, I think we're gonna finally get the old uh, or new differential, the 327 gears in blackjack, and we're hoping it's gonna do a couple of things. So one, we know it's gonna give it more traction, but two, it's gonna allow us to have more fun this winter, and three, we're hoping due to the oversized tires, it's gonna help correct the speedometer because it's way off on blackjack. Let's get the car inside and get it up in the air, and we'll get started tearing things apart. So this is the replacement 327 track lock rear differential that we're going to replace on blackjack. As you can see, it's quite, quite rusty, same as the other one. And this one here, I'm not going to be so concerned about how it looks. We're just going to take it and plunk it into place just the way it is. But we are going to get the emergency brakes, the sway bar links, the upper control arms, all that stuff taken off of this differential because we're not going to need it. And once we get this up in the air, we'll take apart everything that we're going to keep and reuse it here. So I've got to get the car up in the air. We'll start stripping that. We'll come over here and strip this and we'll do a quick swap. Now you guys have seen this entire project done on old grandma and I'll link that episode right here. So if you want to see a little more in depth, you can go over there and watch it. This one's going to be a quick one. I'm not going to bother to record too much once we've got that done, we're going to go and attack the exhaust leak on the car and see if we can't get that fixed up as well. Okay, so for what was about uh, 45 minutes to an hour for me is only a few seconds for you guys. We've got everything disconnected on the old differential. We're getting ready to drop it down. And then with the magic of camera, we're going to put it back up into place. And within a few more seconds, we'll be done this job. So let's get to work. Okay, so we've got the new old <laughs> differential, the replacement. Uh, it's all in place. All the bolts are where they need to be. We just gotta get them tightened up and uh, kind of double check everything that we did. Now, one of the things that we've come across was on the old axle, the one that we originally took off the car, was this bushing right here was bad. It was all separated. Uh, so we have to figure out something to do here. Well, wouldn't you know it, the new axle that we bought, the replacement, had both upper control arms or links in place and the bushings were good. The one that I actually got off on the other side, the passenger side, the bushing is was bad on it as well. In fact, you can see it basically popped right out of place. So luckily the replacement came with everything that we need. The parking brake is actually stuck on. I can't even turn this rotor at all uh, because the parking brake seems like it's uh, stuck on the inside so i've got to get that apart and uh, then we will be completely done once we get the brakes and everything put back on i'm not going to be using these rotors i'm going to be using the good ones that came off of the other axle uh, because they were good and all my parking brakes on this old axle the one we took out uh, were good as well on grandma we ended up replacing the uh, backing plates and everything, swapping them over to the new axle. This one we may do the same thing, but that would mean I'd have to get the cover off, unlock uh, the locking uh, mechanism inside the differential, get those axles pulled away, and then swap everything over. As it sits right now, I'm gonna go over everything that we did, tighten it all back up, get it so that I can put the wheels back on. Uh, so we're gonna be playing around with getting the uh, brakes undone and switched over and then we can tackle the exhaust. So I'll be back with you guys when we're ready to start the exhaust. Okay, so we've got the rear end in. The tires are on, they're torqued. Everything is done except for putting fluid into the differential. So you ever start a project and you're going through your mind a mental checklist of things that you need to look at, things you need to check before you go. For instance, the axle seals, I checked them, they were good. Uh, we pulled the differential cover off of it 
Um, made everything looked clean in there. A little bit of sludge, nothing to be worried about. Put the cover back on, silicone that all up. Everything's all buttoned up, all the bolts are tight, blah, blah, blah. And then this. You forget to check the fill hole plug to see just how rusty it really is. Now, this hole differential is quite rusty, same as the one that we put on Grandma. Like I said, for this vehicle, I'm not too worried about it. I didn't even bother cleaning it up. But I've sprayed that down a couple times with some penetrating fluid, and it still doesn't want to move. Uh, we're going to let that penetrating fluid sit for the night. We'll come back in the morning and hopefully be able to top it up. Right now, we're going to be checking on the exhaust and find out why everything is so noisy. And that would do it. So we've got a rusty, what used to be a Y pipe or whatever, coming down from the cats and it broke. Um, this X pipe had to be welded together at some point or another and uh, this weld broke. So what we're going to end up doing likely is cutting this back as well, probably about there midway and putting a sleeve on there, weld the sleeve back on. The problem is right now that I don't have any pipe big enough for a sleeve. So again, I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to get this thing buttoned up and uh, we'll get the exhaust fixed. Then we're gonna take it out and see how much smoke this car can make with these big meats on it. So stay tuned, we're gonna be getting this stuff all buttoned up and when I come back, we're gonna take it outside and see how easy it's gonna be to light up these 31 inch tires with this car. So it is the next morning and we've got our plug in here with our additive and Tim was able to scab up a piece and wrap it around weld it up. I mean it doesn't look pretty but it's going to do the trick. So now let's get this thing outside and take her for a spin. Okay so now that we've got this thing with the new rear gear and it's a lot quieter we're going to test it out to see how close the speedometer is to the GPS and see if it's something that we can rely on or if we're still going to have to guess what our speed is. Anyways. We're going out here for lunch. Let's uh, see how she's gonna work. A little more pickup there than uh, compared to the original gear. But as far as our GPS goes, It's reading 83, and the car is actually reading roughly about the same amount. So by going with a bigger tire on your vehicle and a little bit bigger gear, that's gonna put your speedometer a little closer together. So things like your mileage calculations, your trip meter, and your mileage is actually gonna be a lot more accurate. Anyways, we're gonna grab some lunch. When we come back, we're gonna see if this thing will smoke both tires. All right, I was hoping to do this in the daylight. It's gotten a little bit darker, but I think that we've got enough light to get this done and enough light to see the smoke when it happens. So we're gonna get the car in place. I got Junior here, he's gonna operate the camera. Let's light her up. there you go guys that is the burnout in the new rear differential on old blackjack thanks to junior for being my cameraman and uh, if you didn't see it entirely because it was too dark well i guess that just means we'll have to do it again anyways guys don't forget the christmas special of the car guy and six fan show will be happening over on grant's channel who is straight six fan i'll put the link right up here he's got a reminder you can go set 
to be sure that you won't miss out. Everyone's invited. It's going to happen on the 17th of December at the regular Car Guy and Six Fan Show time, which is 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern. Hope to see you all there, and Merry Christmas if we don't see you. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. And stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do her again real soon.